Quiet down and listen up. Tony is talking. Thanks for watching this episode of Tony is Talking. I think it's about time we got rid of the moniker Great Uniter when we're talking about President Obama. He was on Univision the other day. Was it Univision? Send your hate mail here. He was on Univision the other day and he said, and I'm quoting here, if Latinos sit out the election instead of saying, we're going to punish our enemies and we're going to reward our friends, Punish our enemies. Wait, wait, wait a second. This goes in line with the Senator Harry Reid comment that how in the world can a Latino be a Republican? Who are the enemies? And why is the President of the United States talking about enemies when not talking about Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran, or Al-Qaeda? Who are the enemies that the President's talking about? He's talking to Univision. He's talking directly to Latinos. Does he mean Republicans? Does he mean right-wingers? Does he mean white people? Who are the enemies? If we're going to take a look at this conversation and ask ourselves who the enemies are, let's take a look at Latinos in general. They're in general pro-life. That would make Democrats their enemies. They are in general pro-business. That would make Democrats their enemies. So it's kind of funny to hear Harry Reid question whether or not a Latino should be a Republican because I just named two things that would almost guarantee that all Latinos should be Republicans. But people don't fall into these kinds of groups based on the color of their skin or their heritage. They have minds and they use them and they can decide what they want to be, what party they want to be with, how they want to think. I don't tell them how to think. As opposed to the Democrat Party, which demands you think in lockstep, otherwise you become Juan Williams. The president has been talking a lot about enemies, and he said the other day that Republicans can join him on the ride to success, but they got to sit in the back of the car. The back of the car? What in the world would happen if someone told President Obama he had to sit in the back of the car? Hmm... Uh, I'm sorry. I just went to my Scrubs racial stereotype moment and uh, I don't have the budget that they have so I can't do a whole Turk JD thing. But if I could, it would have been awesome. It seems more obvious than ever that all this president cares to do is divide people and not unite people. The country has huge opportunities for November to start moving the country in a way that actually helps people and doesn't divide people, that actually brings people together as opposed to tearing them apart. Most importantly, these elections are about letting you live your life your way and not living under the Borg thought process of statists, of the president himself. The president is a racial man, and he can't stop being racial. I have said before, I will say again, his entire life, his entire perspective is based on race. The color of your skin is what should dictate how you think and what you believe. And if you go against it, there's something wrong with you. Those are the words of the president. He is speaking to Univision and telling Latinos, and I again quote, we're going to punish our enemies and we're going to reward our friends. If President Obama is your friend, what is that saying about you? <laughs> Patriotsmedia.com